Hey guys, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again, here with another tutorial. This is part two of Avid Refining Your Cut. And if you download this one by accident, you should probably go by and check out the first one because it's kind of a transition into this one as well. Speaking of transitions, that's what we're going to be talking about today. A lot of stuff dealing with trimming and the A and B sides of a cut. And this will help you hopefully edit your sequence faster than all the competition out there. All right? And like I do in all my videos, I'm a certified Final Cut Pro user as well as an Avid Media Composer certified user, but that doesn't mean I'm a certified instructor in either of them. Basically, I'm putting up all my videos and tutorials here for you guys' benefit because I remember how difficult getting into Avid was when I first began, not having a tutor around or anything like that. So, I hope these videos are helpful. Go check out some of my other videos and uh, you'll learn quite a bit. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to first talk about what exactly trimming is. Basically, trimming is what you do after you've already laid in all your video and audio tracks uh, down into your timeline in your sequence and you want to fine tune the cut points, say for continuity purposes or if you just want to move a transition and and uh, move the audio, like say use this audio from this part of the clip underneath this video right here. It could also be used to change the length of a clip or um, you know you can edit to the beats of music or whatever you like by whatever you like just by putting the edit point wherever you want. Now the way Avid works is um, if you want to do basic uh, overrides and splices into the timeline you would be in source record mode which is this button right here. Avid auto